Hello, I'm Stephen. I'm Keela. And we decided to move to Ireland last year, 2020. We decided to move before the pandemic hit and our move was delayed by a couple of months but we safely made it over and it is now Wednesday the 9th of June. I can't believe we're actually in Ireland. Whoop whoop! <laughs> it's very exciting to be here. Um, I can't believe it's been more than seven months already. It's flown by and we've met some new friends that have become family. We do obviously miss our family back home but life in Ireland is going well and it's summer now. Yay! So we were supposed to have come last year, 2020. In April. But um, it was delayed by a couple of months and we could only come last year in October. But the time, you know, we, we spent with our family and we had more time to prepare. I don't know how we would have done it in such a short time that we had planned. So yeah. it was nice to have some extra time just to take it slow and pack our belongings into our move cube properly. Um, and it was very emotional. I don't think we understood how difficult it would be I had to sell my business Keila had to as well finish off her job finish up her job um, and that was very very tiring um, so it was nice just to be able to relax go for lots of runs and spend lots of quality time with our parents and family brothers and sisters um, our dogs have now made it safely to Ireland that'll be our next video hopefully um, when I got into the plane I think Keila had shown lots of emotion before we left and I was kind of thinking I'd be all right and you know it'll all be okay but as soon as we landed it all hit me and I was ready to turn back so Keila was the strong one and she just said no don't worry we'll be fine and she said keep going we've made the right decision we are in Europe you know it's easier to travel it's nice and safe the world of opportunity presents presents us is around us um, and we'll make it work and together we'll be able to accomplish anything so the first day was very difficult but luckily so our Airbnb host was um, a lovely lady and a man called Shirley and Ian from Reddington Farmhouse in Cove and they really looked after us and they were almost like our foster parents if you could say that um, she saw me at my worst and looked after me and um, we used to have bake-off competitions baking for each other um, we used to share the eggs from the hennies so we had lots of fun um, so enjoy the video and yeah we'll catch up later
Thank you very much, people. Welcome to Dubai Airport. We are going to our gate, which is B2. We've just gone through uh, customs control and um, they x-rayed our bags and we had to put on gloves and we are now going to our gate and we will just wait there until our flight is ready to board. So how was your flight experience? So next stop is Dublin and we'll see you there. sit on the plane. Whatever you want. <laughs> Hopefully we've got uh, two pilots at least. <laughs> In order to get to our plane, all passengers were escorted on a bus, uh, crammed with people and no windows, so we thought that was quite funny given the fact that it was COVID. One of the men fell on top of me, which was hilarious um, to say the least. And the, what was really surprising was the fact that even though there weren't many planes from Dubai International, they still took us on a 10 to 15 minute bus ride just to get to our plane, which was really surprising because we know how big Dubai is, but we didn't realize it was that big of an airport. Um, and we boarded the plane, managed to take a picture, and we got the last little bit of sun rays and extra heat, um, which was a lot of fun. So um, enjoy the plane ride. So we had to manually board the plane, walking up a flight of stairs and uh, we had lots of luggage. Um, I think we had a backpack, we had a hand carry, we had jackets, coats, jerseys, and then we had um, passports, and we had each other. <laughs> so, yeah, there you can see Keela battling up the stairs, and I was carrying the rest of the items.
us as we approach Dublin International, we are about to land. Um, I think we were the only plane at the whole airport, um, almost like a ghost town, that's what Keeler says. Um, so there we are just flying over Dublin, it's beautiful, it's green, all the big fields, and you've got two nervous people, Stephen and Keeler, ready to tackle Ireland. Here we come. Carrying my heavy bag, we were at the weight limit of 25 or 28, as the lady would say. She wasn't very impressed. We were overweight with all our bags. We had two bags each, and they had all our possessions and belongings for the couple of months before our move cube arrived. We, you can see me waiting patiently for my bag to arrive, and Keita's bag, and I had nightmares of the bags not arriving or going to another destination so I was very glad when all four arrived and we had them safely in our possession. All the shops and even all the toilets at Dublin Airport were closed so I think there was one toilet in total that was open and that was all of it. So we quickly had a pee break and then we headed off to get our rental car. <laughs> Once we had left Dublin International, there was a two and a half hour drive down to Cork, where we stayed in Cove. Cove is an island in Cork County and it is accessed only via one road bridge or a ferry. And the nice thing about Cove is that it's full of hills, which is good and challenging for running when all you can do during quarantine period is to run. And also here is the castle of Belvilly and it is um, it greets everybody that comes and it's especially beautiful during Christmas time when it's lit up by a Father Christmas or reindeer or if you're a huge fan of GAA that I think like the owner is there'll be a flag of that um, we stayed in Cove for four months we didn't realize that finding a rental was as challenging as you as it was but this was because we do have two dogs that we were desperately waiting to find uh, cove was our new home and we felt at home quite quickly and um, thanks to our airbnb hosts shirley and ian and we really enjoyed living on a farm and this obviously started our love of the countryside yeah farm life having the chickens waking up with the chickens going Coo -coo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing yeah. it's very different to city life but what's so nice is you can live on a farm but be so close to town i mean living in cove town was half our way let's say it's 15 minute drive 
More like 25. 25 from Cove? Yeah. Okay, so 25 minute drive, which is not far. The thing we learned quite quickly here was that island roads are very narrow. So even though it says seven kilometers, it'll take you a lot longer than it would in Cape Town just because of the narrow roads. Um, the last thing I can say is that the trip from the airport into Cove was actually quite emotional because then we realized like, okay, wait, we're actually here and you can see Gaelic road signs. Um, but like as Stephen said right in the beginning of this video, we know we came here for a reason and we are looking forward to where Ireland will take us. Where the journey will take us. And uh, we've been very blessed. We've made lots of friends and I think now that I've only done this video now because it was very sore for me to do the video straight away. So I needed time to process it. We now have jobs, so I'm now happy to to spend some time putting this video together and looking at the memories and I can look at them positively because I know that it's led us to where we are right now. We've got our dogs with us, we've met friends, we are happy and healthy and we're looking forward to our family coming to visit us soon. Yes, please come, please come. COVID, can you stop now? <laughs> but we are very grateful that our family are all safe. <laughs> about to get into our Cove Airbnb and I think we phoned all our family members to say we have um, arrived safely and just give them some assurance. We obviously didn't know what the Airbnb would be like but we were pleasantly surprised and it was our new home away from home or our new home and it was close to, close to the water and lots of trails and here you can see how narrow the roads are. It's a, definitely a one way or pull over kind of road. And you, we're surrounded by trees, we've got a lovely forest on the right and then we've got a big field coming up on the left and they farm barley here so all of the crop that's grown is sold to Irish to the Jamison whiskey and it's called cool living on a piece of heritage. Yeah and in Cape Town we lived on a farm road so it's, it's nice to come back but this was obviously uh, less urban and very farm-like so I think it obviously ignited our passion for living in the countryside So now we've officially entered the farm and we're on our small farm road You'll see we've got a field on the right. There's another field to the left and we've got the Cork Harbour right in front of us Oh, it was so exciting to go through those little gates. We were like, oh, we've arrived. So you can see our Airbnb on the right. We stayed in the barn. I definitely um, sympathize with anybody else who's just moved or has moved overseas. That first day is obviously a little bit scary. Yeah. But we feel so much better for doing it. So catch us on our next videos and let's see where Ireland takes us.
join us on Instagram, island underscore living. And we look forward to seeing you in the future.